Yo, 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 what up, y'all? Today, we are going to be discussing another airdrop, another potential airdrop, uh, this time from Jumper Protocol, which is a bridge aggregator that I love using, honestly. Outside of this being tokenless and us speculating that it may have a token at some point and doing airdrop to the community. I actually use this because I genuinely like it. It solves a problem for me, which is having to go and always find a decentralized exchange to use on all of these different blockchains that I'm on, right? Instead of going and finding these different DEXs and seeing which ones have the best prices and all that, I can just come to an aggregator that's going to give me the best prices on my swaps. And that will give me the best prices if I want to bridge my funds to another blockchain. Okay. So once again, outside of this having a token, it actually solves an issue for me. And so I'm able to do a lot of volume on here because I'm I'm catching myself using it just because I'm not even using it specifically because I want an airdrop. I'm using it because it's like, oh, this this solves the issue for me. And so I love that about this platform. And I think that actually adds value to even our speculation at this point. Okay. Now, Jumper was created by this platform known as LeFi, who also does not have a token. And we will scroll down. All right. You can come and check this out yourself. But they're known, they're trusted, blah, 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 blah. No, I'm just playing. Uh Right here. So LeFi powers Jumper Exchange. Find and compare the best routes across chains, bridges, and DEXs. Jumper Exchange is four times audited and provides the best prices in the industry. Okay. That's what we want to know. All right. Now let's get into this. I'm going to go ahead and connect my wallet so I can do a live swap for y'all. Okay. Now, they have the exchange feature. That's the first one that we'll go over. Right here, you can choose your blockchain. It's pretty much a similar layout to Omni BTC for those of y'all that may have seen those videos that I've done on that platform. Um, and what we'll do is we'll stick with optimism and we are going to swap our USDC and we will go to, we'll stay on optimism and maybe we'll swap into some DAI, some DAI stable coin, or let's see, where do I want to go after this? Seeing if I want to bridge anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to go into ETH. I'm going to ETH real quick. On Optimism, okay? Now, if I wanted to, though, I could bridge over to any of these blockchains. All right? Any of these blockchains right now, I could bridge over to. I would just simply choose one and then I would select a currency that I want to bridge into. It's so it just makes things so easy. All right. Now I'm going to swap my whole amount of USDC because I want to always do volume through this platform. Now something I've also been doing is it's going to recommend, obviously, it's an aggregator, so it's going to recommend the least slippage and the best prices for you off the off the dribble. It's going to recommend it. I have been going, and whenever I see that 
when any of LeFi's uh, services are available, I'm using LeFi. Now, you're using you're using their service regardless, right? Because we're on Jumper, but I don't know. I figure maybe maybe this is read a little bit differently, and maybe it's more in my favor every time that I'm making sure I'm using their contracts all the way. I don't know. I'm just speculating. It's just what I'm doing. And we're going to go ahead and swap that. As usual, when it comes to bridges, I think the best thing you can do is be consistent, continue using them um, on different days, weeks, and months throughout the year, right? You don't want to just come and use this one time, do $10,000 in volume, and then leave. You want to keep using their product. You want to show them that you enjoy it and that, uh, that you're a regular user. That's usually what gets people airdrops, right? So we want to be consistently using this and doing volume, right? So if you have $100, our first goal is going to be to get to $1,000 in volume. All right. Get up out of here. Oh, oh I just approved it. Okay, so now we're going to actually do the swap. I did a little token allowance. That's going to be the first transaction, of course, because I was using USDC. And something else that's cool that I noticed is that when you do your swap transaction, it will also cancel out any permissions that you gave them on USDC. So that's pretty dope. It does that all in one transaction. Um. What was I saying? So, yeah, you want to run up some volume. If you have $100 to work with, our first goal is going to be to get to $1,000 in volume. So that would be 10 transactions with $100 at a time, each transaction. And you want to do those transactions over different days, you know, maybe different weeks, depending on how much money you're working with, you know. Oh, you might be somebody like me who's using this every day and you do that very quickly. Or, you know, you might do that throughout a month. It's up to you. But I suggest that that be your first target, $1,000 worth of volume. Now, that's how the exchange function works. They also have a gas feature. This is cool if you get... If you bridge over to a blockchain and you're stuck over there because you didn't bridge over the gas token, right? If I bridged over to Matic and let's say, I'm sorry, if I bridged over to Polygon and let's say I bridged over wrapped Ethereum to Polygon and the gas token over there is Matic, well, I could come over here. I can select the chain. I can go to Arbitrum, like we're exchanging from. And let's say I want to bridge some ETH. And I need just a little bit of gas on Polygon. Then I can bridge to Polygon. And it's going to give me the gas token. All right. So I might do like $2 worth. Um, Oops. You know, you might do like $2 worth and send you over some gas. All right. So that's another cool feature that you can use. Of course, you could do the exchange the same exact way with just a little gas, but um, they have this right in your face. And if you didn't know what gas token was used on a certain blockchain, they don't even give you the option to choose right here. Right. You just choose the blockchain. It automatically is selecting the gas token for you. All right. So this is a dope feature as well. And that is another thing that you can use on this platform that will possibly end up getting you qualified for 
this token in the event that they drop one, which I think is very, very likely down the road. I appreciate y'all tuning in. As always, stay tuned for the next one. One love, y'all. Peace.